Hello all, Jamie here from Craftmania and today I'm introducing you to our brand new die of the week. Now before we even begin I'm going to let you know that this is the lowest priced die of the week we have ever bought you. And because of this and because it's an amazing actual product and design I have a feeling this one's going to sell out very very quickly. I might be wrong but I would certainly stock up on this one very quickly if you too like the look of it. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course, tap the bell to be notified of all of our future videos because we'd hate you to miss out. If you're not watching here on YouTube and you're watching on one of our other social platforms, please make sure that you have subscribed to that channel and followed that one as well because we'd hate you to miss out on any of the goodies we have going on here at Craftmania. Now, if you're new to our videos, welcome. It is lovely to have you with us. How this is gonna work is I'm gonna show you our brand new die of the week. I'm then gonna show you seven samples that I have created with the die of the week. Now, on these samples, there are lots of other goodies too. So where are you gonna find all these bits? Well, of course, you're gonna head over to the Craftmania website, which is www.craftmaniacrafts.com. When you land on the website, you will see die of the week in the menu bar. If you give that a click, it will take you through to a page and on the page you will see all of the different dies of the week we have bought you this year. You're going to be looking for, give you a little sneaky peek, this picture for this week's die of the week and it of course will be towards the beginning if you're watching this as it's launched. If you've come to this video slightly later we may still have some in stock but I wouldn't like to guarantee it um, but of course you can still check out that page just in case there's any lurking still. Once you're on there and you're into the right page you will find not only the die of the week we will also find all of the other goodies I've been using too. So when we talk about ink pads, dies, ribbons, card blanks, all of those bits are of course on that page and on our website. But we don't want you to have to go searching for all 10,000 items we carry at Craftmania. So they'll all be on that page for you. If you have any questions, please let us know and I will send you the direct links to the items. Or of course, if they're technique based questions, I'll do my very best to answer them for you. This is all very relaxed and just here to hopefully give you a bit of inspiration. The cards I share with you will also be posted on our Facebook page, which of course is once again called Craftmania. And again, there is a link, I believe, on the website. If you haven't already found us on Facebook, you can click that and it'll take you to it. It'll certainly take you to our group as well. I'll tell you more about the group towards the end of the video. But if you're not already on our original Facebook page, then please do make sure that you are because every card will be posted at 2 p.m. throughout this week and it gives you the chance to go on there and save those images. For the first time ever, if all goes to plan, we will also be sharing some little quick like live from the desk style videos where when I've been making these, I've done some overhead filming and we're going to try and edit them into short bite sized videos for you. But just a couple of the cards, not all of them. But if you like those videos and that helps inspire you, then please let us know this week and we'll try and factor them into future die of the weeks as well. No guarantees, but we'll try our best. So then with no further ado, let's introduce you to this week's die of the week. Now we have got the Petite Dianthus from Sue Wilson. I love this die, genuinely. Um, if you go back through the, the items I made for shows when I was with Creative Expressions, you will find that this is a die set I requested an awful lot and used on an awful lot of my samples because it's just one I really love. It's got lots of delicate pieces to it and they're quite small flowers, you know, and I tend to, when I design my dies, tend to do quite big flowers. And it's actually sometimes really nice to have those smaller flowers to infill with or do wreaths with or bigger backgrounds with, bits like that. You don't always want huge flowers. Um, and that's something I tend to forget when I'm designing. So actually to have a little set like this is real essential. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking, well, I've already got one of them. I don't need this week's style of the week. Or you're looking at this and thinking, well, how am I gonna get up to my 10 pound to qualify for free UK PMP? We'll cover more of that in a moment. I would highly recommend ordering a couple of these at least. And I say this because if you get one size of each flower head, and whenever I'm making flowers, I'm talking here as myself as a fellow crafter, I know that on a project, I'm gonna put at least three flowers. So if I want to make three layers per flower, which I don't, I normally use six. So I'm using six layers per flower, three layers. That's 18 times I've got to cut these out to make those. Obviously, if I buy two sets, it's nine times that's got to go through the machine and so on and so forth. And I'm stopping there because my maths ability isn't very strong. So we're going to leave that before I embarrass myself too far. 
But basically, the more sets you've got, the less cuts it's got to go through the machine for, and I always find that quite beneficial. And when the die is as cheap as this one is, it's a good time to multi-buy if that's something you want to do. I genuinely mean this. I usually have two to three sets of each of the flower dies I'm working with, just simply for speed. Even when they're my dies and we're looking at the plate dies, I will have three of them and I will put them onto my plate and send them for all in one go so that I'm getting triple the amount in one pass. It may be lazy, it may be smart, I'll let you decide. So our die of the week this week, this one should be £6.75, but it's better than half price. It is only £3, just £3 pounds is going to get you this set of dies. There are six different dies in here, so that is making them 50 pence per die. That's an incredible price to be paying for a Sue Wilson die, let alone a floral die that I genuinely believe is one you're going to turn to time and time again. Now I mentioned the postage just briefly. If you haven't recently been onto our Craft Mania website, you might not know this. On the 1st of November, our pricing structure for PMP changed. So just in case this is the first video you're watching or you haven't been on the website just yet, let's cover it quickly. So now, anytime you spend over £10, your UK PMP is completely free. If you wish to spend less than £10, your PMP is £2.95p. Whether you spend less than £10 or more than £10, but would like to have your parcel quicker, then you can now upgrade to first class PMP, which is a flat rate of £3.95p. And it doesn't matter what side of that £10 you're on, it's £3.95 to get postage upgraded to first class and get your hands on the goodies even quicker. Our international PMP has not changed. That is still capped at just £10. So it doesn't matter where in the world you live, if you would like to get your hands on this die or any other goodies that we bring you at Craft Mania, there is no limits, no problems, spend as you wish, but your PMP will be capped at £10. If we find it cheaper than £10, we refund you the difference. If it costs more than £10, then we here at Craft Mania actually pay that for you. So again, free UK PMP on all orders over £10 or international PMP capped at £10. But if you want to know any more about any lab, because I tend to get these things wrong, pop onto the website and have a little look under the customer service tab and it will tell you how our shipping and handling works. And then once again, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Everything I've told you, link to the website, shipping and handling, all of the info so far will of course be in the description to this video. So if you'd like to see it in text form instead of my waffling, it is there for you as well. So with no further ado, let's jump in and have a little look at this die set, shall we? Because I could waffle for England and that's the last thing anyone needs. So here are your six dies. As you can see, when these cut, they're also going to deboss in this beautiful pattern onto each of the petals. There's also a few little deboss bits going to happen on the sort of foliage pieces as well. I really like these because Sue's given you both directions. So if you want to turn that into a corner element, you absolutely can do. If you wish to turn it into a border, you could do that as well. Or you can just use the flowers on their own. But £3 for this set is truly an absolute bargain. Now, when we bring these bits in, this is what I mean about turning it into a corner element. Now, obviously, you're going to put your pieces underneath as such. But very easily, you could see how you could build that corner up onto your project very, very simply, very, very elegantly before layering your different items onto that flower. If you wanted to turn this into a border, you could of course do that. Now, whether you stretch that out further and bring in two or three of these and layer them as you would in the different sizes or different styles, absolutely possible to do as well. Or of course, you could quite easily sort of take this round into a reef format. Now, once again, you've got your two sort of branchy pieces. You've got your three flower heads and you've got the little stamens as well, or the middles to your flowers, however you know them, that can, of course, be built up and added into the centres of those. So between your six dies, you're actually going to receive one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements, giving you lots more versatility and even better value for money when you sort of compare that to your three pounds. Now, in today's video, we are going to be looking at lots of samples I've been creating, and a lot of them have been using my products as well, because I love a good excuse to play with some of my goodies. So I'll chat you through these as we go through the cards, but of course, they will all be on that page for you as well. So on this card, for instance, we have bought in the flowers, and I've added these on around the edge of our ring. Now, the ring here is our circular frames die set. So these are great because they cut the perfect circular frame with no fuss, no hassle. Um, they, of course, cut the middle out as well, and they, of course, cut the aperture if you prefer. But actually, for clean and simple cards, having a perfectly sized circle 
is really great to work with. I've then added my butterfly into the middle. This, of course, is using our Jamie Rogers Craft from Mirror Card. And then on the tips of my flowers, I have bought in our brand new metallic ink pads. Now, this video isn't all about these. Check out the Jamie Rogers Crafts YouTube channel or watch the lives on the Jamie Rogers Crafts Facebook page if you'd like to know more about these. But these are incredible metallic inks. And I've literally taken each of my flowers taken that off and then just taken the actual petal not the die obviously the die cut and just dipped them into the ink pad and that's given me that beautifully sort of gilt edge running around the edges of every one of these flowers very easy to do very effective of course doesn't have to just be with this die set but it's a really lovely easy way to add color to those dies if you would like to i've also used my scallop squares and i've also used the pierced details that come with those to add in some frames and some different sort of borders. And I've done my mats and layers both from the same set. And this is working with our Decadent Ivory Elite cardstock, just to give you some ideas. Don't forget, if you want a close up picture of these, they will be shared on the Craft Mania Facebook page at 2 p.m. every day this week, uh, one per day. So you can collect all of the photos if you would like to throughout the week. Now, from here on, actually, we're going to be using an awful lot of my brand new tile collection. And I'd like to share that with you just in case you haven't seen it. The tile collection consists, and this is just a quick flash. We've got all of this in stock at Craft Mania already. But you've got your Elegant Butterfly Oval. You have got your nested die set. You then have three matching stamps that coordinate with those dies. So the dies will match up over the outside and cut these out. And then of course you can lay them on the oval if you wish to. You can use the tile dies to cut them out. And by tile, what we mean by that is they all nest together. So you can literally bring your shapes in and build them back together like you would your kitchen tiles or your bathroom tiles to make up backgrounds and really cool patterns, borders, again, details. They're all gonna coordinate perfectly. Your stamps consist of a with love set with lots of flowers and butterflies, a happy birthday set with a happy birthday banner and then birthday wishes and happy birthday and different balloons and bits and presents that will take you all throughout the year. And then you've got your sort of Moroccan tile styles. This is the ornate pattern style of stamps and these will all work together to make up some really cool effects. And then on top of that, I've got them all here somewhere, there are stencils as well. And the stencils are perfect for embossing like I have on the first card we're gonna be sharing with you. But you can also stamp the details from these on top of the stencils. You can also take your die cuts and layer them on top of the stencils if you wish to. But there are three background eight by eight stencils and one set of stencils, which gives you the positives and the negatives of all of the sizes of the dies and the stamps. So again, you might choose to do your stamping and then bring in the outside, place that down and color over the stamp or bring in the, the sort of positive, the actual cut and layer that over the top and mist or color and protect the item that you've stamped. It just gives you lots and lots of options. Now, we don't normally talk too much about different products on this video, um, but it's nice for you to see that these are out. Also, we've just brought out brand new rectangle nesting dies in five different designs that all coordinate together. So on this card, I've used the square versions of them and yo-yoed those throughout to make these patterns and bits, but it's nice for you to see them. On this card, and the reason I wanted to show you that tile set, is I've bought in our flowers. Our flowers, of course, are front and centre, along with our little sort of twiddly bits. These have been coloured using the metallic ink. So for this one, I've used royal purple and I've used the brushed gold. So I coloured them purple to begin with, and then using a blending brush, I went over them and around the edges with the brushed gold to give the flowers that two-tone effect. For the stenciling in the background, I've used the smaller ornate tile stencil. I've embossed it through my machine with a rubber mat. I've then done some blending over the top with these two colours of ink to get that sort of patchy look. I've then brought in the stamps, so this is the ornate stamps, and I've stamped on top of the tile pieces, just randomly, not perfectly, and intentionally not perfectly, and intentionally not all of them, using the brushed gold to give that sort of weathered sort of aged look to the background. I've then bought in the nesting dies and I've also bought in the centre from the oval set, the elegant butterfly set. I'll just give you a flash of that again so you see the bit I mean. But so the outside is this one 
and then the centre is using the lattice part from the middle here. And I've built these up to make my middle part of this. I've also used the happy birthday sentiment and I've used the thinking of you sentiment panel and I've added on one of our elegant butterflies. I've topped all of this off with an organza bow because I love a bit of ribbon and I always think that that just gives every card and every project a bit of an elegant finish. So really trying to bring together our die of the week with some of our latest releases. Then moving on, this one's kind of cool. Again, you're going to see lots of these tiles throughout this um, video. I, I apologise. I'm a bit obsessed with these. I love these. I've been waiting to share these ideas with you and share projects with these for a long time. So today you've got quite a lot of them going on. This one is using one of our foiled inkables. Now I did this live on our Facebook Live on the Jamie Rogers Crafts Facebook page this Thursday at seven. You can catch up on the Jamie Rogers Crafts YouTube channel or on the Jamie Rogers Crafts Facebook page if you'd like to go back and see how it was done. But it's taking the metallic inks, it's placing them out onto one of our blending mats, mixing with water, laying in our foiled inkable and picking up those colors of ink to make this really cool marbled effect over the actual panel. I've then used the dies, these are the corner elements from our Elegant Butterfly Oval. Now these corners have inside and outside edges, so I've used just the inside edges and I've placed these onto the foil inkable panel and I've cut them in on all four corners. I love these panels for doing these style of effects, whether you're going to die cut into them with our different corner dies or whether you're going to stamp on them with our different corner stamps, it just works. I've then taken the tile die set, I've stamped the outside of the large Moroccan style tile or the ornate style tile with the black suede from the metallic inks and then I stamped an insert design using the brushed gold. I've then brought in the flowers again and I've just added them on the edge here and this is the joy of this week's die of the week. We're really looking at a finishing touch, they're even called finishing touches by Sue Wilson. And they really are that sort of last element you're going to put onto your project. So I've needed to bring in lots of other bits to infill, but it shows you how these are going to fit into so many different projects throughout your sort of crafting time. I've then added on one of our elegant butterflies just onto the edge here to finish that off. But again, very simple, very easy, very elegant, working with our decadent ivory cardstock, our foiled inkables, and our gold mirror card. So moving on to idea number four. Now this one was a fun one. So again, bringing in lots of our recent releases, we have got for you our lattice stamp, our Latin script stamp. So the lattice I've stamped in elephant gray, the script I've stamped in our piggy pink quick dry ink pads. I've die cut out the middle once stamped using our nested tile die set. So just taking one of these, cutting out the center, to then create this open aperture frame. I've then bought the flowers in and I've cut those out using our rose petal pink elite cardstock. And I've built those all up and then infilled underlaying or sort of un poking them under the layer of that lovely aperture that we've created. I've added on another one of our elegant butterflies to the edge here. I do kind of wish I'd stamped or embossed that back panel just so there was a bit more being revealed, um, but it could have been all in filled with flowers. The butterfly could have been in the middle. You could have added some script or some wording in there if you prefer, lots of different options, but it was more the concept I was trying to show you of how you could use these flowers to infill an aperture. I've then added on our happy birthday. And again, this time we've used the rose petal pink card, we've used the polar white card, and we've used the decadent ivory. And I've added a little white organza bow onto the edge there, just to complete that. But these flowers come together and build up to make sort of a background really, really easily, really effectively. And again, quite fun and effective. And this is why I say, if you can run to having a couple of the die sets, on here, I've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flowers. So nine flowers all with one, two, three, four layers per one. So again, you're looking at quite a lot of layers being built up here, a lot of cutting. So maybe having a couple in your, your sort of stash is going to be beneficial. And this is what I mean about inexpensive dies, being able to multi-buy and sort of add up to make your job easier when it comes to cutting. Then we move on to a little dinky card. This one's tiny. What size is this? Let's give you an idea. This one is five inches. That, in my world, that's tiny. I apologize. I don't often make very many small cards. So with this one, what I've done is I've bought in them same corner elements that we used on the foiled inkables card. But this time I bought in the outside pierced edge from the scallop squares and the scallop squares edges, put them all together and I've sent them through the machine to cut this as one panel. And I love doing this because it then means you've got like this fretwork look. And then, then I've padded that onto a slightly larger panel 
again cut with the scallop squares with the pierced details in the rose petal pink. I've then brought in the tile panels and I've cut those and layered them together. I've stamped in one of your Nate stamp designs using the silver lining of the metallic ink and then I've brought in two little flowers and placed those on the edges just to finish this project off. How cool and easy and simple is that? And again, if you're batch making and you wanna make some really simple cards, how easy is that one to make in comparison to some of them? We've got a couple more easy ones for you. This one again, you can see I'm in a bit of a scalloped edge mood today. I've taken my scalloped edge dies and I've actually put it over the edge of the card so you're over the fold of the card blank so that it's gone ahead and it's cut my card blank to have a scalloped edge with a pierced detail. I've used the same dies again to make up the middle panel. This time I've used the Latin script stamp and I've stamped that in brushed gold to make my background. I've then brought in another one of the ornate tile stamp designs to stamp the middle and then die cut it using the nested tile stamp designs. And then I've brought on two of the little flowers that again, I've just sort of brushed through with the brushed gold ink to add that little hint of gold running around the edge of them. Again, when we talk about batch making cards, enough of very quick, very simple, very easy card to be making. Now, if you're not sick of hearing me say the words scalloped and pierced square dies, let's run through another one. So this time again, I've used the pierced dies in with the scalloped dies, and I always do this, and I don't know why, these two come together, but of course you could use these with the decal edge squares, the fluted edge squares, the posted edge squares. You know, you, you don't have to just stick to the scallops, but I do genuinely seem to have been in a bit of a scallop mood today. I've also taken the inner lattice element from inside here. Now that's a separate cutting die again. It has an outside edge if you wish to cut it out like we see on one of the previous projects on this one back here. But if you don't want to, you can leave that in your cardstock. So I've left that in the inside of our scalloped square. So it's cut this fretwork out in the middle of the navy blue card. This is our night sky navy card. I've layered that onto a piece of our decadent ivory card. I've then cut another scalloped pierced square in the gold mirror card, and I've foam padded the two together. I've then brought in lots of different styles and sizes of my little flowers, and I've brought them together around the edge here of that tile cutting, and I've added in the sort of foliage pieces as well, just to complete the look. But that very quickly gives you seven different ideas on what you could be creating with this one die set. And of course, as I mentioned, I've taken this off and added in lots of other elements from our recent tile collection, but there's no reason why you couldn't be adding these onto all of your different products you've got already. Whether that's stencils, die cutting, stamping, the options really are endless. And I have a feeling, as I mentioned earlier, I think this die is gonna go pretty quickly. So if you like the look of this, don't dilly-dally, get it ordered as soon as you can. So once again, pop onto the Craft Mania website, www.craftmaniacrafts.com, have a little look for the tab that says die of the week, and in there, it'll open up, you'll see a picture of this die, give that a click, it will open up onto a page and you will find all of the items that we've been chatting about throughout those cards on that page for you to have a little perusal of. If you do choose to purchase any of those items, then again, if you spend over £10, you'll receive free UK PMP, second class PMP that is. If you wish to just purchase your die of the week or spend less than £10, then again, you can pay the flat rate of 2 95 to have that posted to you if you wish to. If you spend over or under £10 but wish to receive your items quickly, then of course you can upgrade to first class PMP, which will cost you £3.95, whether you're under or over £10. Then of course, if you'd like to shop with us anywhere in the world, you can do. Our international PMP is capped at just £10. And if it costs us more than that, we pay it. If it costs us less than that, then we give it back to you, quite frankly. And on top of all of this, the bit I didn't mention at the end or the beginning of today's video, is don't forget to join our Inner Circle Rewards System, or club as it is. That will give you points for every full pound you spend, and points, of course, equal rewards. So the more you spend, the more points you get, the more you save, and the more you can save in the future. So if you haven't already become a member of our Inner Circle Rewards Club, again, there is a tab for that on the website, on the menu bar, and you can give it a click and find out how all of that works. That started again on the 1st of November, our way of giving back to you and bringing you in as part of our Craft Mania family. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if not, I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.